Hello and welcome back to the channel. I've got something a little bit different today. Uh, it is the Super Print by Ultratech. This is a uh, pretty unique piece of tech. Um, not very useful today, but uh, I, I saw it and uh, as often happens, it uh, followed me home. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look and see what this thing does. On the outside is uh, this hard shell case. Uh, nice for uh, transporting it and keeping it safe. Um, I believe there was a handle here on the front uh, which is missing. If we go ahead and open it up and remove the hard shell, you can see it's uh, a bit worse for wear. Uh, there's some stickers and some uh, pretty dirty grime in between the keys here. But, uh, what this device is, is uh, it is for hearing impaired uh, users to be able to communicate through the uh, phone lines. This was actually used uh, obviously much more in the past before text messaging and uh, other forms of communication like email became more popular. This would allow someone to connect their regular phone line up to uh, this, this device with the, uh, the audio coupler. Um, that's actually one of the reasons I grabbed it um, is uh, these were a little bit before my time. Uh, I think the first modem I had was a uh, 2400 baud uh, direct connection modem. This does have a, a phone jack in the back, um, but I think how it would most often be used is placing uh, one of the, the older uh, phone headsets on these. Uh, one is the, uh, I believe this is the microphone and this is the speaker. So the, the opposite uh, way you put the, uh, the headset on there. And then you can type in your message and it gets transmitted through the phone line. There isn't the uh, connection like uh, is made with a, with a modem where it does the handshake. This is just direct. Um, there's actually an option on here to have it speak a message saying a, uh, a TTD user is on the line. And then the other end would put their device on the line. And then both users can type and see their message displayed on this uh, vacuum fluorescent display. Uh, that's pretty cool too, uh, another reason why I grabbed it. And then the other cool thing is it has a uh, receipt style uh, heat, heat uh, sensitive paper printer. Um, so it will actually uh, keep a transcript of the messages being sent back and forth. From the back of the unit, you can see the phone jack as well as the DIN power connector, which is center negative. And you can also see the port where you can load in the paper in the center. The door just lifts up and you can uh, drop a new roll of paper in there, as well as the two uh, audio couplers. And then also on the side, there is a label to indicate which side of the phone the uh, cord would be, which would be the mouthpiece side. On the bottom of the unit, there's a couple stickers, one for the Department of Social and Human Services for Washington State, which is probably uh, who issued this to an operator. And uh, we've got a serial number. Um, notably, the serial number has the dash WA printed on the label, uh, indicating that it was uh, issued to uh, Washington State. Uh, and that lines with the uh, EEPROM we see on the inside. And then it's got uh, a couple of tick marks for the, I guess, the 400 model number and uh, that it supports ASCII. I will go ahead and get it all cleaned up and then come back and show you some of the the details of how it works. I just wanted to show you kind of how it was uh, when I got it and then uh, we'll get it cleaned up and take a look. Well, getting the unit cleaned up, I took the four screws off the bottom and took a look inside. Uh, not a whole lot interesting in here, but there is a uh, NEC 8-bit microprocessor that is running the unit, as well as a socketed EEPROM you can see in the lower right, uh, which is labeled WA05118. I believe this is what stores the uh, customer specific information. In this case, it would have been uh, state of Washington. And you can see when the unit boots up, it displays a Washington and uh, ID number. And then uh, in the center, you can see where the uh, keyboard connects onto this uh, main board. While getting the keyboard cleaned up, I noticed the key switches are cherry branded. Looks like they're the black variety. And then there is a uh, silver one on the space bar. The unit definitely has a really nice key feel, uh, which would be expected for a device that's uh, focused on someone typing all day. So I've got the unit all cleaned up. Uh, it looks like it uh, came out pretty nice. Um, 
still some minor scuffs and, and uh, wear around the stickers and stuff that I couldn't get out, but uh, I think it came out pretty well. Uh, the keyboard looks really nice uh, after I got all that gunk cleared out. Um, as I showed earlier, I got all the uh, under the keyboard cleaned. It was pretty much a, like a carpet under there. It was, it was pretty gross, but I got that cleared out. The, the ear cups on these, or the uh, audio couplers, were kind of hard to clear. Um, but I did get most of the, uh, the really gross stuff off those. And then, um, so I'm just powering it with a, uh, a power adapter I got from uh, Amazon. Uh, I'm just using that because it's tunable to a specific voltage. I didn't have the right um, power adapter, especially with it being uh, center negative, I believe. So that allowed me to easily hook that up and get it running. Um, so I thought I'd just go ahead and, and run through and, and show a quick uh, demonstration of uh, how it works. Um, so as you're typing, you can hear that it is um, directly transmitting the code for a letter as you're typing. Um, so again, there's no actual uh, connection being made. It is just directly transmitting the tone for that letter as you're typing it. So uh, you can turn on the voice announcer. I'll add the uh, audio. Hearing impaired caller, use TDD. So you can hear that if it's uh, probably not picking up with the mic very well. So for a quick demo of the transmit and receive functionality, I'm going to go ahead and show the device transmitting and uh, recording onto a phone and then I'll uh, play that back and uh, we'll be able to receive the, the same message that was transmitted. And then we will stop the recording and then I will clear and then we will play this back go. Thanks to my friend Adrian for uh, giving me the idea on how to test that. Um, initially I was assuming that the uh, device had to make some sort of handshake connection, but uh, obviously it works just uh, directly uh, with the phone line. Other basic functionality includes the printing. When you hit enter, it will advance. So you've got your printing. There's a toggle switch uh, for the printing on and off. Um, in addition, it has a printer on and off uh, from the keyboard. There's a display mode. So you can toggle that and then it will do left to right instead of right to left. my typing on here is not great because the keys are slightly shifted but uh, it is pretty nice to type on but doesn't have the um, the dimples on the keys to indicate where you're at uh, there's an auto answer mode um, dial um, you can type in your number and it will do the dialing it does as well have a uh, message save memory um, so you can pick up uh, one through nine uh, pre-recorded message to send. And then the message is saved. And then if we want to send that message, and it is sent and uh, recorded on there. Not fully familiar with yet the uh, memory functionality here. I think you can step back and forward. Yeah, so it's just playing backwards. Oh, actually, that's kind of a, a cool functionality. I hadn't tried that yet. Um, it also has uh, international uh, mode. Uh, I assume there's probably a different format for uh, some of the text encoding for uh, international communication. So it has that as well. I think that about covers the, the basic functionality there. 
Um, I think it's a really cool device. Uh, I, just, I love the look of it and the uh, having those audio couplers on there. Uh, it's just a really cool device um, that I've enjoyed kind of playing with and I uh, hope you enjoyed seeing it as well. Uh, I think that about wraps it up for this video and uh, I'll see you next time.